black people can say the word nigga, nigger, but white people aren't allowed to say it. We do have double standards and maybe we shouldn't try to act like we don't. Something happened recently at, I believe, a Kendrick Lamar concert. Um, I will link to this video below so you guys can take a look at the video and just tell me what you think. But basically, um, I'm not quoting, but basically what happened was Kendrick Lamar played this song. Lamar played this song and um, he called a white girl up from the audience to sing along with this song. Some people say it's a setup, some people don't, uh, whatever, but I heard this on The Breakfast Club, shouts out to them, um, that's the link below, you'll, you'll see The Breakfast Club's video, but um, Kendrick Lamar called this girl up to sing this song and um, she went on to say... Uh, the word nigger in the song uh, where, where he said nigger, she said nigger. We started that. I just wanted to talk to you guys about double standards. Um, again, this is the reasonable dose, so we look at both sides of the coin. On the one hand, there is a big community. Um, I would probably even say most of the community of the world says that um, white people should not ever say the word nigger. Nigger, nigger, anything you can think of. Um, any way you can say it. My nig, nigga, I don't know. So white people should not say that word. So Kendrick Lamar called her up. And I think on the Breakfast Club they said that the word the nigga the word nigga is mentioned like um, four times in the hook and like 21 or 27 total times in the whole song, so um, that's why some people feel like it was kind of a setup for the girl that she came up and she sang it. But she goes on to sing it and um, she seems sort of young and she seems like she doesn't really know um, that she shouldn't say the word or maybe she does know that she shouldn't say the word. I don't really know, I don't really care. That's not what this video is about. This is the reasonable dose. And this is about, we do have double standards and maybe we shouldn't try to act like we don't. I am not necessarily a fan of double standards or an enemy of double standards. I just want us as people to be able to acknowledge that we have double standards. And one of those double standards is black people can say the word nigga, nigger, whatever, but white people aren't allowed to say it. And I just feel that that is what defines a double standard. I can do something and you can't. Let's see if I could think of an example, like a construction company hiring 95% um, men um, to build a skyscraper for, for, for their company. That's a big disparity for women. It's not a double standard that that women can't get hired there. You know, like we hire men, but we don't hire women. It's like we may hire the most qualified, which might happen to be men. We may hire the guys that said, well, we've lifted up a lot of piles of rocks and moved those piles, that pile of rocks over to that place over there a lot more. There are double standards in this world. We would be remiss if we didn't acknowledge the fact that there are double standards. And my question to you is, is the world better without double standards? Because that creates fences and that creates barriers and that makes things kind of tough. Where you can say something, but I can't say something. You can do something, but I can't do something. You can live somewhere, but I can't live somewhere. Should people be allowed? Just the fact that there is an allowance on a word, that's kind of, that seems unreasonable to me. Without taking into consideration what the word is, nigga, in this case, nigger, should one group be able to do or say things that another group can't? And if they should, can we all just agree that there is a double standard? Black people can say something, but white people can't? Or do we want to erase it and say, you know what? Either everybody say it or everybody be allowed to say it and we won't get mad 
if, if people say it. Um, and this is a reasonable dose, so you can't really, not in this form, you can go somewhere else, but in this form when you talk about, well, what about the context or how they said it? Sorry, like I said, removing the word, um, that's not the argument. It, the context or, oh, that I could hear what they really meant in their voice. That presumes what someone thinks and that's not reasonable. I'm just wondering if, should one group be able to say something and do things and another group cannot? And if so, can we agree that that is a double standard? 